can you tell me about the two funds and what SAB intends to achieve with these funds? Well, basically, uh, we have SAB as an entrepreneurial company and we really expect to be a reference in terms of entrepreneurship, especially here in South Africa, but as well as in the whole continent. So we have many initiatives to, to help development, to help backing up entrepreneurs to develop their businesses. Uh, we have the SAB Foundation, we have the Kickstart, we have the Thrive Fund, and we have the SAB Accelerator. All of them are going to work together with different types of entrepreneurs to help us create 10,000 meaningful jobs here in South Africa in the next five years. Today, uh, this was an event which was focused on our supply chain. So we are inaugurating the Thrive Fund and the SAB Accelerator. So these two initiatives are focused on every element of our supply chain in all our suppliers and see what can we do to help them grow, develop their businesses and help create new jobs. How is the company contributing to South Africa's agricultural sector? Well, the Thrive Fund uh, is a great way of doing, but both initiatives can help a lot. Uh, we have a commitment to, to make sure that we have a uh, hundred percent or more and more uh, as much as possible for raw material coming from South Africa so we are working very hard on that so there are many initiatives like Women in Maize and all of them are funded either by the uh, uh, Thrive Fund but also with the help of the Accelerator so there are many ways that we can contribute and I think that the most meaningful way is by sharing technology for example when you think about barley production I mean there's lots of ways that you can do to make sure that you have a better productivity, to make sure that you have higher income and higher output. So we are making sure that we have all our farmers getting together, exchanging best practices so we can increase our input and output also. So we are working very hard. We have a whole agricultural area focused on that. As well, we have consultants on our accelerator. So there are really many initiatives and we do believe that three to five years from now, despite the very tough uh, weather conditions that we're seeing right now, we can really help developing South African agriculture. You want to create 10,000 jobs in the next five years. What is your goal after that? Um, so is there a plan in place after five years? Yeah, I think that the, the objective of, of that goal is, it's, is really make sure that we not only support entrepreneurs, but also support people that will actually make the economy grow as well. So that's why the, the job creation goal is an important thing. I think that our focus right now is making sure that our programs that will help those entrepreneurs that are going to drive these job creations is actually going to materialize. What we expect as a company uh, during this period is that uh, we can become role model to other companies in the sense of finding a real way that we can drive our growth because we want as a company to grow ourselves as well but by helping and driving other people to grow with us and help and driving transformation to happen so we believe that if we do well our job and if we can reach our target other companies will see what we're doing and might mirror that effort and then we can have a real big impact in the whole country